Okay, go to custom switches. Set it up just like that. Switch one and aileron ID zero. Switch two and <coughs> aileron ID one. Switch three and aileron ID two. Basically, these are software switches. Okay. <coughs> go to the mixer menu. Okay, I have uh, my channel 5, which inputs to the RG Pilot channel 8. Let me see if I can get that. Right there. Okay, that's my channel 5 output from my radio receiver. You can see it right there, which is the input to channel 8 on the RG Pilot. Okay, I'm going to create six settings, okay, these values here that are highlighted will be different for you, most likely, okay, so the first one, it's going to be full, weight, negative 125, switch is ID 0, and select multiplex to replace and that's <coughs> that's pretty much it. Okay. The second option full negative fifty for weight. Okay, switch ID one and select replace on multiplex. Setting three full negative twenty for the weight. Switch is ID two and replace for multiplex. Okay. Option four, <coughs> or setting four, full, weight is 10, okay, uh, software switch one, okay, and multiplex is replace, okay, the fifth setting is full, weight is 36, switch is software switch two, and multiplex is replace, and the sixth and final setting full weight of 61. Okay, software switch three. Multiplex is replace. And, uh, and none of those other settings will change. Okay, now I'm just going to describe what's going on here. <coughs> okay. So when we set up those software switches, basically we tied. <clears throat> the aileron switch to the ID switch. So ID 0, okay, ID 1, and ID 2 are operating normally right now. The aileron switch is off. So basically, what we have would be a, okay, that would be ID 0, okay, with the aileron switch off. And the ID switch all the way up. Okay, if I were to move the ID switch to the center position, which would be ID one, it would be selecting that output. Okay, just like so. Now, ID two, we'll select that option there. Now I'm going to bring this back to ID zero, and I'm going to turn on aileron. Okay. Now I have just changed the operation of my ID switch and it is now tied to the aileron switch via software which will select this setting because I have oops, my software switch 1 set up as this fourth setting okay and remember that's that's a direct co correlation between ID 0 and software switch on will give me this option right here okay ID 1 aileron switch is on will give me my fifth setting here. <coughs> okay, and ID2 with aileron switch on will give me the sixth and final setting. And that in turn gives us six flight modes off of basically one switch there. Okay, the ID switch. I'm, sele I'm selecting a flight mode. Okay, that would be, okay, let's reset aileron zero 
which would be one flight mode, second flight mode, third flight mode. Okay, aileron switch is now on. Now we have our fourth flight mode, fifth flight mode, sixth flight mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select that to zero. Where we have ID zero selected as well. <coughs> now, keep in mind this this value right here. I'm going to select it so I can now change it. Okay, negative 125 is the uh, maximum number or minimum number I can set it to. Okay, I have my RJ Pilot connected to my computer. Okay and it's powered via the computer. I don't have a LiPo hooked up, although I could. Okay, uh, when you plug it in for the first time. Okay, I have our, the uh, mission planner open. Okay, I'm gonna come up to the top right, select your uh, COM port. Ooh, that's bright, okay. Select the correct COM port. Okay, that's the baud right there and then click connect, that'll say connect there. And then a box will pop up in the center of the screen. Uh, eventually it'll read some parameters and whatnot and then after that it should be connected. And uh, after that, click on the configuration tab. And then uh, you can click on uh, radio, actually radio calibration will be the first item that will pop up, okay. <coughs> Now take a look here, radio 8. Now that corresponds to the input right there. Okay, on the RJ Pilot, which is the output channel 5 on your radio on your receiver, your radio receiver. Okay. Now look at the value below that little bar graph. Now I'm gonna bring you back over to the radio. Now watch, I'm gonna change that number. Okay, that's all I'm going to do is just change that number. Now watch that. You can see it uh, changing as well. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to uh, what I had it set to before, 125 or negative 125. Okay, and then I'll give you a, a graphical representation of, of uh, the value of that switch. Now I'm going to select flight modes. Okay. <clears throat> Here's your six flight modes. To the right of each flight mode, you're going to have your uh, your range for that flight mode. PWM zero through 1,230 is going to be flight mode one, and you can change what actual flight mode you want it to be in in that range. I have mine set to stabilize for flight mode 1, loiter for flight mode 2, return to launch for flight mode 3, auto for flight mode 4, fly by wire A for flight mode 5, and manual for flight mode 6. Okay. Now let's go to, to flight mode 2. How do we do that? Basically, we're just going to take ID 0 and change it to ID 1. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to do that with the camera pointed at the screen. I'm just going to switch to ID1. Okay, ID1 will now bring us to the loiter mode. Okay, and that's a value between 1,231 and 1,360. You can see that value right there. And keep in mind, as I'm adjusting uh, on the radio, <coughs> okay. Remember, we're in ID1 now. I'm going to okay, and I can change that now as I change it. You see that. Okay, I had to pause the video because 
somehow I copied one of these settings and uh, I wasn't getting any change when it, I selected flight mode 2. But uh, okay, I have uh, ID 0. ID 0 selected. Okay, that's negative 50%. Did I say ID 0? I meant ID 1. Okay, that's ID 0. ID 1, negative 50%. Okay, we're in ID 1, just like it says there. Okay. And you can see the loiter is selected green. So I'll go back to ID 0, stabilize. ID 1 is loiter. Okay. And uh, if I select, so I can change that value you'll see where it says current PWM it will change now you can see it as I'm changing it it just went to stabilize that's because that PWM fell below the flight mode 2 value into flight mode 1 so I think I had it set to 50 percent negative 50 percent which brought us to 1247 okay and I'm going to bring that up to about 1,300, if I can get it there. Just to give it a little bit of margin, up or down. Okay, 1,300. Okay. ID2 will give us return to launch. <laughs> My wife is making fun of me because I say okay a lot. Okay. Okay. ID2 is return to launch. Okay. Which I have set. Oh, I see I just did it again. I copied that fly mode. Okay. Okay. So I have 10%. Uh oh. That's correct. So now we want to get into flight mode 4. The way to do that is to set the aileron switch on, which is down, and back to ID 0 on the ID switch, which will. Give us this setting here. I have it at 10%, <clears throat> and you can see we're now in auto mode. And my PWM is 1555. My range is 1491 to 1620, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to switch to ID1. Give us fly by wire A. Our current PWM is uh, 1688, which puts us kind of in the middle. 1621 to 1749 is our range. Okay, that's pretty good. And if we want to go to manual mode, that's ID2. Okay, aileron switch is on. Uh, PWM is 1816, and we have to be above 1750 for flight mode 6, which is manual. Okay. Okay. Set it again. Now, let's see, I wanted to go from here, <coughs> manual mode, to stabilized mode. You can set it up however you want, but how I have it set up is, um, basically if I flip both of these switches up at the same time, I'll be back in stabilize, or if I bring this back to ID 0, and then flip to ID, or uh, aileron off, I'll be back in stabilize. If I flip them both down, all the way. Bring us back to manual, flip them both up, stabilize. Now I can cycle through the flight modes. Okay. Okay. Set it up so it makes the most sense to you and, and it's convenient for you to switch between fly modes. 
I have, uh, when I first turn the plane on, this is how my switches are going to be, and it's going to be in stabilized mode. Okay. Uh, now, if I just switch the aileron switch, that puts me in auto mode. And I can quickly switch to manual mode there, or straight from auto, I can go to stabilize, which I kind of like. That gives me uh, just a very quick setting between auto and stabilize. And, and real quick on the calibration, what you're going to want to select, that's really bright. Just going to turn that down. There we go. Okay. Right here it says Elevon configuration. Uh, you're going to want to select the checkbox that says Elevons because that's what you have on your wing. Uh, Elevons reverse, I have selected. Elevons channel 1 reversed, Elevons channel 2 reversed. All mine are selected, but it depends on which way your servos are set up uh, and whether you have it reversed on the radio or not. So, what you can do is just uh, set the plane to stabilize, stabilize mode, and let it in. Uh, plug it in, initialize it, have this open, have the USB plugged into your Arja Pilot, um, and move the plane around and uh, determine whether the servos are moving in the right direction and adjust the uh, checkboxes accordingly. You also want to calibrate the radio, uh, which means moving your, your uh, controls every which way. Do that after, uh, well, you can do it a number of times. I'll do it before you. you do L1 configuration, then after. Because once you have L1 selected, your throws are going to be a little bit different. You can see them moving as I move the uh, control. Alright.